This is Wish 2 News Sunrise on CW18 in high definition. May is Healthy Vision Month, and today we're looking at cutting-edge procedure to help correct nearsightedness. Joining me this morning is Dr. Brock Magruder and one of the patients, James Turner. Thanks, so guys, for so much for coming in. Thanks for having us, yeah. Jasmine. So we want to talk about this new procedure that you actually performed on James. A lot of people struggle with nearsightedness, Dr. Magruder, after their 40s. He's obviously not there. <laughs> what's what's the cause of this? What's the cause of the of the nearsightedness? Yes, it's a, a natural occurrence. It runs in families, and it's getting more and more prevalent. Mm -hmm. it may have to do with all the time that our kids spend on apps and uh -oh. looking up close, actually. Yes, and that's <laughs> definitely us. Okay, so talk to us about this procedure that you perform. How does it work? It's only on one eye, right? Well, what James had it was advanced LASIK in both eyes. Okay. And so he is uh, or was nearsighted in both eyes and needed glasses or contacts to see well. Mm -hmm. And so we were able to. Uh, Restore him to his should be state. Okay. In uh, just a very short procedure. Very nice. Okay. okay. So, so, this is personalized care. Yes, it is. All right. So, we want to bring in the story between you two. You guys met through a foundation for foster children, which is pretty cool. You're a former foster child, James, also an FSU student. Mm -hmm. I imagine you really need your sight. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Definitely. It's something that I rely on every day, hopefully. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I met Brock at um, the Foundation for Foster Children in one of their events, Fostering Hope. Mm -hmm. um, I was their uh, keynote speaker, and I was uh, had the great opportunity to go on stage and talk about my life. And through that, I met Brock and a couple other great people. Were you struggling to see as you were writing that speech? No, I didn't write the speech at all, to be okay. honest. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. But he delivered it. Beautiful. Phenomenally, I, I I bet. So wait, so how has this procedure kind of changed your life? Can you speak about that a little bit? Um, you know, I think I would appreciate it more if I went from glasses to LASIK, but I went to glasses to contacts and into LASIK. Oh, okay. So, um, but they gave me a week to wear glasses. Mm -hmm. um, I guess the eye had to get back to a normal shape, mm -hmm. um, and so I went from glasses for a week and then I went to LASIK and then I woke up in the morning and I was like, holy crap, I can see. You can see. <laughs> yeah, I was like, well. Well, that is so, awesome. Right. All right. Well, we are so glad to hear the story and thank you guys so much for coming in. For people who may want more information, where can they go? Uh, MagruderLaserVision.com. All right. And Foundation for Foster Children, which is a fantastic organization.